Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. And little. Didn't go like get it adjusted right, sorry. Um, anyway, I'd like to explain. I don't know if I've read for you before. I do so many, I can't remember everybody's name. But I see here, feel, sense, no. They talk to me, but they also show me pictures, and I call it spiritual charades. And I try to describe the picture the best I can. There's always a reason for whatever they show or say. So if it doesn't make any sense, now keep it in mind, because you'll either see it later, remember it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later. Go, oh, I know what he's talking about. I never know what I'm talking about. But. Uh, this is not an exact science. Sometimes you got to stretch it outside the box a little bit, because we communicate the best way we can. And it's not always just perfectly exact. They won't give me all the details, because the details are none of my business. They'll give me just enough, so hopefully you at least know what they're talking about. And, oop, I already hear him say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Something about catfish. So I, don't, I don't know if this, I don't know if this is somebody's nickname or he's actually talking about a catfish. I love catfish, you guys with catfish fishing. Um... He loved catfish or if it's you know, some kind of nickname. Now, if it's a nickname, because I kind of feel like it could be. Um, I don't get names exact. Used to. I don't anymore. Don't know why. So nicknames are in the same category. So there you go. You might have to. I, I won't shove anything to make it fit. It is It is whatever, whatever it is that comes through. There's always a reason for it. And then he draws my attention to the word catcher. I have a sticky note. It has catchers. Catfish catcher. Maybe that's somebody that fished for catfish or you just did or thinking about it. It's getting cold. It's dreary here. Cold and dreary in Kansas. Let me help you. Let me help you with that. Oh. He's pointing at this. I felt the need to pull a card. Now, actually, three of them came out. I don't know why, and I'm not exactly sure how they go together. But when I was shuffling, and I actually shuffled last night, because I started to do this last night, and maybe I was just too tired. Anyway, and three of them flipped over together. So, that, it. If I'm not fit, <laughs> muttering again, <laughs> if I'm not paying attention, they'll actually flip cards out of the deck. So, surrender to divine timing, uh, surrender to effortlessness, and surrender to your desire to control people. Actually, they came out in this order. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, don't try to control others. Um, the, I don't know what it is about the effortlessness in the divine timing, but divine timing, I hate this card. <laughs> and I'm going to quit saying that. Um, because to me it means be patient. It'll happen when it's supposed to happen. And I, don't, I am not a patient person, so that kind of... He's saying yes. So whatever question just went through your head, he's saying yes. So it must be something that you kind of thought of when you saw those cards. Let me help you. I'm not sure he's talking about this, the cards. Don't know for sure. I promise you a thousand percent. He can hear you. He can see you. You just can't always hear them. And he says clearly yes. Not just yes, but clearly yes is what he says. So he's uh, reaffirming that. OK. 
Okay, so he's showing me that he stands behind you a lot. And right now he's showing you like sitting in a chair and you're leaned over looking at something, your phone or whatever. You're looking down, probably doing this like I do. <laughs> and uh, he's standing behind you and he puts his hands on top of your shoulders from behind. You should be able to feel that. Everybody receives the energy difference, so I can't say for sure how you will feel it. It could feel like a little pressure on your shoulders. You could feel like a bubble pushing on your back, a warmth, but it won't be like, usually won't be like your whole body getting warm. It'll be just that area where his energy is at. Sometimes, if their energy's strong enough, well, I can light my body on fire. Um, he can make my ear turn bright red when his energy gets strong enough. I haven't done that lately, Bob. He says he doesn't need to. I already know. So, or it could, it could feel like goosebumps. It, I just don't know how you're going to receive it. He says, he says it should feel more like pressure, like he's pushing down. And it probably won't feel like hands because we don't have hands anymore. But it'll feel like something pushing on there. Anyway, he wants you to know he's got your back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's talking about anybody in particular. He's not like showing faces or anything. I think it's going, he's going, <laughs> this is going along with, I got your back. He's showing like, <laughs> he's sticking his foot out and trying to trip people. Trying to trip them up. Some people, yeah, I'm not getting just one particular person, but it seems like there's one stronger than the other ones right now as far as somebody who needs to be tripped up and what they're doing. Um, I don't want to say this. Watch for people to be walking by you, especially if it's somebody you already know. could be like, it doesn't feel related. It feels more like it could be at your job or... Get that kind of a casual relationship, to watch for them when they're around you to kind of stub their toe, um, stumble, uh, look like they trip on something that isn't there. Just watch for that little, or you might think of one that's already happened. Because he's sticking his foot out when it trips and they like it. He's, he's, he's more like they're not being nice to you. They're not being upright and forthcoming. That's what he just said. Upright and forthcoming. So he's going to give them a little trip or a little they won't know where it came from. <laughs> I love my peeps. Okay, he's saying when when he got there, and this probably not the first person that he saw, but an ant. So, well, I'm not sure why he's an ant. So an ant type relationship. And it doesn't have to be a blood relationship. I always tell people, the little lady next door can feel more like your grandmother than your blood related grandmother clear across the country. So it's that type of feeling. And she has dark like curly hair, but it's more like it's been primed than, a, than natural wavy hair. So that's how he's bringing her through and describing her. Okay. So he's He's doing this over his heart. And it feels like he had something. That's the word I want to use. Um, I don't want to say deep, dark secret. Um, something. Secret. Secret is not the word I want to use. Um, 
but you, but you may not have known this. But it was so deep in him, it wasn't in his heart, it was even behind his heart. It was so shoved back in there, this, this thing, this, um, I'm trying to look for the right word, um, something that was deep, deep, deep inside of him, that, I don't want to, maybe brought on sadness, um, pain, uh, something he tried to cover up so hard that it was that far buried, instead of confronting it and dealing with it, he stuffed it. And it was something that was always kind of gnawing on him, not even sure that he realized it until now. Just, it was always had a heavy presence on him. Like I said again, not sure he even realized it. And it's a kind of a typical thing for a guy to do, but I've never seen one bury it that deep. Where, nope, I'm not going to look at it. You were my rock. You thought I was your rock. You were my rock. You, and I know you sent me a picture of what looked like him on a boat. Sorry, they make my head itch. Their energy. But he's he's showing he's showing a boat, but he's not not the physical boat. Let me go on. He's saying you kept him from capsizing his boat many times, many more times than you know. You kept him upright many more times than you know. Even if you yelled at him, even if you were harsh with him sometimes, or you, he always he always listened, even though he may not have acted like it. He listened. He took it to heart and paid attention. And he wants you to know that. And he's saying thank you. Thank you for being you. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger for you. And he's pulling my eyes Okay, I have a checkbook in front of me, and I'm handling my brother's estate. He just passed away a couple months ago. So, not sure if you handled his estate, did part of his estate, got money from his estate. He's just drawing my eyes to my brother's estate. He says, you've done a fine job with your part. Don't worry about the rest. Don't worry about the stuff. And most of the time, they say, darn it, they make me itch. Most of the time, they say, you know, the couch, the, the money, the car, the whatever, that they leave behind, the rings, the whatever, it's just stuff. It's no use to them anymore. It's not what's... Oh, he's yelling. It's not what's important. He's yelling it very forcefully. It's not what's important. We're all screwed up. It's not what's important. I can't tell you how many times I've heard this song. Fuck that car. It's not what's important. Dig. Dig down in there to find what's important. I didn't. Everybody looks on the surface. That's not what's important. Relationships are. I love you. I should have tried harder. It is what it is now. This is something about a cat. He just says, cat. Sometimes I just throw words out and I'll 
They throw them out, I'll throw them out. He says, okay, sometimes you're going to feel a wisp of air on your cheek. Now, he's on my right side, Bob's always on my left side. Once in a while, somebody will get past him. Um, but instead of being like, like a breeze blowing, it won't be that. It's going to be right on your cheek, and it's going to go upwards. So this is going to be a clear sign, because it's not going to be like a little breeze. But like I said, it's not going to be the whole side of you. It's just, he's showing from here up. So it's this little breeze is going to go. Doesn't have to be on your right side, but that's where he's at right now. All right, he's going knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Trying to get him to tell me what the knock 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 is. Or where you might hear it. Or <laughs> Well right now he's rapping on the head. The the first knock 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 was like he was gonna knock on wood or a wall or something, so maybe the front door. So pay attention to Probably three knocks. Doesn't have to be three, but knock, knock, knock. You might hear that. You might think it's a woodpecker. You might, you know, you have just discarded as, okay, well, I heard knock, 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 and it's gone. But he's also doing it on your head. Knock, knock, knock. Pay attention, he says. So you could feel the little thumps on your head, or it could feel sometimes when I really try to get my attention, it feels like they're sticking me with pins. So if he tries really hard, if he's figured out how to do that, it, it could be like that. Um, he could just get an instant headache in one little spot. Don't know how you will receive the energy or how he will get it across to you for sure. Like I said, this is not an exact science. Take care of, first I thought I saw Carla, then it looked like Carlos, so now we've got a male and a female, so that doesn't help. Carla, Carlos, Carlotta. They can name something, like I said, we, I stink at, we stink at names. It's not all my fault. Might have to stretch that one out a little bit. So hopefully you know who that is. When I asked him if he was watching out for the girls, he held up four fingers, and then, then he took it down to three fingers, and then it was, <laughs> shit, I can't do it, and then it was three and a half fingers. Whoop, look at the other one out. So I, I honestly don't know what that means. I don't know if there was four and maybe one's gone, or if this means that somebody's pregnant, Oops. or that with him showing four at first and taking it away, I don't know what that means. And he's not showing me. And I can't make him. It's, it's his show. It's all up to him. He's drawing my eyes to the catcher word again. C-A-T-C-H-E-R. Don't know why. And I says, where's the boat? Where's the boat? Where's the boat? He 
he feels like he's he feels like he's standoffish. Like he's not real forthcoming with information. It's just kind of little bits and pieces, and I don't know if he, maybe he was like that in real life. Maybe didn't uh, bear his soul to anybody, you know, and which is a macho male thing, kind of. But it seems like his is a little more, um, a little standoffish, um, private. Uh, private would be a better word. And he, so I don't know if he's just showing his demeanor. Or, I don't know, I don't feel like he makes a huge effort to make his presence known. So if you want signs from him, ask him. Especially if you get any of the, any of the little ones that he said, oh, I forgot what he said now, the wisp of air and whatever else. Make sure you... Tell him you love him, validate him, acknowledge him, and ask him to bring you more. Ask him to bring you signs if you want them. It's your free will choice. Ask, invite him into your home if you want that free will choice. Talk to him. He can hear you. You have to ask because they cannot override your free will choice, and then you have to allow it. That's on your part. He keeps drawing my eyes to a card that I pulled for myself yesterday. I don't know why we're in all the cards, because he's not speaking that much. Surrender unhealthy relationships. And sometimes unhealthy relationships can be to yourself. You can shift to yourself, which we all cut ourselves down, I think, more than we do anybody else. Than anybody else does for us. And more, we say shittier things to ourselves than we would say to our best friend. So it can, it can be even something like that. He's talking about tripping somebody again. So unhealthy. So that re unhealthy relationship is something to do with tripping. Whoever that is, he's not happy with that. He says, "Not my choice." He actually shows himself tiptoeing around, tiptoeing around, being very quiet. So I think he's he's not making his presence known a lot. He's popping in and checking, but he's not uh, he's not making loud noises or anything. And then people usually they don't want to scare you or make you think your house is haunted or possessed or any, any of those things. So he's he is going around and he's checking on dip, but he's doing it very quietly. He's going around and stopping in on this one and stopping in on this one, but he's being secretive. So like I said, if you want to know he's there, ask him to make himself known. Ask him, ask him to step up. Right, he's saying, he says he knows you were a little disappointed in him. He's making me feel like it was something that you found out after he left. Could have been a little disappointed in him before he left. But it's something you kind of, one of those things you kind of shook your head at. But he knows that you still love him. I'm trying to get him to bring me through some more evidence. I don't like to spend my whole reading doing evidence and pat myself on the back. What I can do. But he's not really giving me a lot of evidence that you know for sure it's him. 
Like I said, he's not being real forthcoming. He's just, he, if you feel like you need a little, a, little, a little extra protection, call on him. He's, he's around you, but I don't think, I don't know that you're going to feel him very much. He's just kind of a, like a silent guard. I do love you, sis. Then he called you sissy. Something about capturing his heart. You were kind of bossy. Don't we all boss our brothers around? <laughs> in a good way. I took it all to heart. I paid attention even though I acted like I didn't. And this is kind of similar to what he said before. He's saying it very softly. Very, kind of lovingly, I would say. I'm asking him a couple of questions, but he's not answering me. He said there's a grandma over there. He's talking about where he's at, but like she's over there. Her hair is kind of prim and proper. Her hair is lighter colored, but not, not Olay white hair. It's more like colored light hair. Not a little old lady. Very, uh, stand up straight. Very statuesque. Statuesque? Is that the right word? Um, like very, maybe expensive, light colored, crisp glasses, crisp hair. That makes sense. He said, she's over there. That was a grandmother type figure. And it's not that they don't intermingle, but they don't, they're not like this. It's somebody that to me would probably have money and be able to afford the nicer things. So this is how he's bringing her through to let you know that she is there. He does see her. They're just not. He's not showing anybody around him right now. He's uh, kind of coming in like the lone duck. Something about a baby. But he's not thinking any more about it. Okay. Okay. He says he's he's ready to leave. Okay. Much love to you, my dear. He's leaving. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. Thank you for allowing me to be his voice. 